In this video, we're going to take a look at a good example of how to finish a point in doubles. I'm going to go ahead and play through this point first so that you guys can see what's going on, and then we'll break it down a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and break this down. Now, first of all, I like the use of the eye formation here, and this is something that I can do separate videos on in the future, but I, I really like this use uh, of the form different formations and doubles to start off the points. I think it's something that amateur players don't do enough of. They don't give their opponents different looks and make them have to change up what they're doing. So I think that's a good start to this point. Now, as we continue on, we see that the server and his partner just go back go back to a standard formation here with the returner covering the alley down the line the serve was good and so the server had a nice chance at an easy volley and he's a little bit far back here he's he's at the service line a little bit behind the service line when he makes contact and so i think this makes it a little bit tough for most people to attack but he does a nice job not overdoing this volley. Look at how he takes his racket back, lines the racket up with his target, and just makes contact out in front of him. He doesn't overdo it. And that's a great lesson for all of you watching this. When you get an easy volley in doubles, especially when you're a little bit farther away, back by the service line, don't swing for the fences. You should still be trying to control this shot and place it. It's not all about how hard you hit it. It's about placing the ball. And the server here did a great job keeping the ball low. It's not about hitting it hard necessarily, but he places it down at the net person's feet, which is where he should have gone. And a lot of amateur players, let me back this up a little bit. A lot of amateur players would make the mistake of taking this shot and going somewhere else with it. Now, if he didn't feel that he could attack consistently uh, without making a lot of mistakes, then the easy play would just be to take this back cross court towards the returner, keep it deep, and keep that returner pushed back behind the baseline so that he and his partner could really take over this point as, as they have. They've done a good job both moving forwards towards the net together. So that would be the easy play. Uh, if you're going to attack on this, again, I, I think the best play possible would be to keep it low towards the net person. Uh, so those are his two main options. And he chose to... Play it straight ahead at the net player. Does a perfect job of putting it down towards this person's feet. And now, even if he does make it, this net player on the returner side really doesn't have much choice about popping it up. He's got to open the face up to make this shot. Now, here we have another high volley by the server. And again, he's got two main options. Two main options. He could play it back towards the returner, cross court, or go back towards the net player again. And this is where I, I see a big breakdown in tactics very often by club level players is they'll attack on the first volley and the net player gets it back, maybe even just barely. They play back a weak volley or half volley. And then I often see the attacker kind of give up and, and be like, oh, well, he got that back and then hit it back towards the deep person, back to the returner. And that's a mistake because it lets the pressure off of the, off of the net player. And so the, the right tactical play here is to go right back at that net player again. As long as you are in control of the points, pick the person closest to you and continue to attack and continue to, uh, continue to pressure them. Don't let them off the hook by going back to the, the baseline player. And the server does this, goes right back at him again, and actually uses the, the space after knocking this person back with that shot down at the feet, uses, uses the space between that net player and the net by angling the ball off the courts. And he could have also used an angle going back the other way if he wanted to. He could have taken this shot could have also angled it back over here. Um, that's, a, that's a much tougher shot with, with that high backhand volley. It would definitely be possible. He would just have to angle his body a little bit more, and that would have worked as well. But I don't like that play as much because we have the baseline player back here. And so if the angle isn't 
pretty good. That baseline player is going to track it down. So I, I like keeping the ball on the same side as the net player here because even if the angle isn't great, you're still rushing this player and it's the player with the with the lesser amount of time between the two on that side of the court so i like that choice a lot so nice job playing that angle good ball I'll go ahead and play through this one more time the eye formation good serve resulting in a weak return attack and then attack again and so use this tactic in your doubles play guys Find the person who's closest to you when you have an easy volley. Pressure them. If they get it back, pressure them right back again. Don't let them off the hook. 